All right, today we're going to get started with a Snowflake connection and demo. As you can see over here to the left, I already have one connection, but I'm going to show you how to make another one just so you can connect to your own Snowflake instance. This is what it looks like in the list of databases. As you can see, the default database is there. There's my demo, and I'm going to click on Connect Database, which you would do to connect your particular database, your Snowflake instance. Then we'll choose Snowflake Beta here. And then in this is where you would put the database URL to your particular instance. And that just happens to be a JDBC connection string. For your JDBC connection string would look something like this, connecting to your particular Snowflake instance. And then you just click on Connect Database. And this will take a few seconds, probably somewhere between five and 15 seconds while it makes the appropriate authentication, handshakes, and all of that type of thing. And then poof, you have your particular Snowflake instance. Now, if you click that and you go and look at the tables, you'll have various ones that you can select. You can select just a few like this and then click track selected, or you can customize the particular tracking of the table and click track selected. That will then bring them into your particular Hasura GraphQL instance. In my particular situation, since both of these are duplicate databases, I'm just going to query the ones that I already have in here. And you'll see that I'm using the standard Chinook data set that we often use for our demos. And this is just a list of artists and albums, music, things like that, particular customer and employee data, genre of the music, invoices, etc. Kind of like a record store, basically. So if we click here and let's get a table name, We'll just run that query, and poof, there we go. ACDC, Aerosmith, Allison Chains, etc. There is our query. And then you can take the requisite normal list of actions that you'd like to take, like querying on a specific name. Like, let's say we want to see if there's any Metallica albums in this list. So we'll execute that query, and boom, there is indeed Metallica. So there you have it, executing against a Snowflake database. This definitely opens up a whole range of things that you can do now that you can connect Postgres, Snowflake, a a Athena, and so many other database connections. And as always, we are working on new ones and we'll be releasing new ones soon.